You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hey everyone, welcome to another awesome episode of Ask Drone You. My name is Paul. And I'm Rob. And this is episode number 441. And as always, we thank you for hanging out with us today. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah, we do appreciate it. We also appreciate the shares, the reviews, everything that you have been doing to really propel this podcast forward. We can't say thank you enough if you have found the podcast useful, valuable, or found some great information. Leave us a review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to shows. Yes, and don't forget, this all starts with your questions. That's right. So askadroneu.com is where you can leave those questions that we believe you all have. So get them in, because again, like we say, or we've said in the past, if you're thinking of a question, so is somebody else. That's right. What are we talking about today, Rob? Well, it's an interesting question. Now that we've got a lot of people that have passed the 107, Mm -hmm. they're naturally starting to think about, well, how do I let people know? How do I advertise that fact? So... That is what our question is about today. Awesome. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to, uh, uh, if you haven't checked out the replay from the live course on 107, this uh, lady, by the way, you're about to hear, she went through DroneU, passed, got her certificate, and now she's off living the dream. You could be like her. All you got to do is go to thedroneu.com. Fascinatingly simple. Play that question, Rob. (laughs) Indeed. Hey, Rob and Paul, this is Liz, and if you can't tell from my accent, I am in Alabama. Um, I've been listening to your podcast for a while and have learned a lot, so thank you both for everything that you're doing. Um, I did pass my 107 last week. Um, I'm not a pilot. It was pretty hard, but I managed to pass, so now I'm working on my website, and I wanted to know what credentials I can put on my website to show that I am certified by the FAA. Um, I didn't know if I could actually use their logo or if you guys know of any other credentials that come along with this certification. I will listen out for the answer. Thank you again for everything that you're doing. So, like we said, Paul. You know what is so cool? She's a girl. Rocking hard. I love it. Getting her pilot's license, living the drone life. You go, girl. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations. And you're right. It is hard. Not that I know, but we've certainly heard from a lot of people that it is hard. It's hard. hard. It's not Especially for somebody that doesn't have a piloting background. Oh, yeah, for sure. Well, you got to learn meteorology. You've got to learn how to read METARs. You've got to learn about load factors on wings. I know that sounds weird, but it's true. Oh, yeah. Um, There are things that you have to learn that some other pilots will never, ever have to learn, and they're actually flying in the sky. Their butt planted in a seat, (laughs) thousands of feet above our heads. Yeah, absolutely. There is a lot to learn, which is why the Drone U107 course is a great way to go. Get it all in a concentrated effort. Just feed that brain and then go take the test and... uh, I think you'll be glad you did. And by the way, as long as you're getting 90% on our quizzes and tests, you'll be fine. I, I feel very confident in saying that. So, yeah. And that's worked out for just about everyone uh, in the group so far. That being said, um, if you check out my website, my personal website, and by the way, I'm still making revisions to it. I work on this thing at like 1 o'clock at night because I rarely have time to work on things for myself. Uh, but that being said, um, yes, there are typos. Yes, I'm changing them. But I want to show you guys this as an example. Um, if you go to takenflight.com, it's T-A-I-T-K-E-N, flight.com, and you'll see my main header image will say Taken Flight, Certified Pilot, Videographer, Podcaster. Um, so I just make it really upfront and clear that like, hey, I'm certified, I'm good to go, yeah. I, I can fly. Um, I don't use the FAA logo. This is something we actually had to do some research on. We called, right. we called Ted our FAA certified flight instructor. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, because I said, well, it, you know, it's government material, so it's copyright free if it's government material. Then we did some research and figured yep. out that the FAA logo is actually trademarked. And you can't use it without the administrator's permission. Yeah, so we've we've heard from some folks that 
well, number one, a lot of people do use it, right? Yeah, and, they do. And uh, so essentially they're using it without the appropriate permission. And is the FAA going to prosecute or go after mm, them in any heavy handed no. way? Probably not. No. But but who knows? Um, they have put themselves out there a little bit by using it without getting permission. Our understanding is that some folks that have tried to get permission recently have been told no. Yeah, there are even, it's funny, there are even other schools that have actually copied our material and then use the FAA logo to advertise their school. Mm -hmm. So now I have a new piece of, I've got a new thing. Uh Uh-oh, not a new thing. I'm just kidding. (laughs) Um, But yeah, I know a lot of people using it. And just like you said, I don't think that people are really going to get in trouble. They may, you may get a phone call that says, hey, take that thing off your website. What, what are you talking about, sir? Uh, m- my logo. And, yeah. And I'm from the Federal Aviation Administration. <laughs> yeah, obviously, if you get that phone call or if you get that letter, take it down. You don't want to you don't want to push the wrong buttons and, and upset yeah, them. Yeah, and I mean, we're going to recommend, too, because we're anti-problem, right? <laughs> Absolutely. We're anti-problem. We are anti-problem. So Try we're going to gonna recommend that you don't use the FAA logo. Oh, yeah. So. Well, again, you can ask permission, and I don't know, maybe if you ask in the right way or you get the right person, they'll Send say a yes. Cupcake. Sent back to the cupcake. You can go. <laughs> it's not going to hurt, right? Maybe you just make an FAA guys or ladies day. day hey, donuts. Donut. When I own Party Trolley, donuts uh, got me uh, a license for commercial vehicles. Right. I'm not kidding. Like literally a. F- but I wanted to say something. A box of donuts. <laughs> I think that happens at least once a show. Where oh, like, yeah. You catch yourself. Yeah, like oh, you oh, want, oh. want to say something. So one of the other things that you mentioned, Paul, as far as marketing the fact that you're 107 certified is actually putting your license on the site somehow. Yeah, and you can do that. I recommend it, but I would recommend that you delete the applicant ID, the test number, the certificate mm-hmm. number, your address, but just show it with your name and then even say in the caption of the photo, um, you know, like this is my 107 certificate with information deleted to protect my privacy. Also, little here's a little key piece of information that a lot of people don't know. SEO Gurus, I hate the the, uh, don't the like term, term guru. guru. Yeah. Anyone who calls themselves a guru, uh, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like you, you want somebody else to call you that, not call yourself that. It's like if you talk about yourself in the third person. Yeah. Well, Rob, Paul thinks that this is stupid. <laughs> in which case, I don't take you seriously. So yeah, there. <laughs> There's an issue with that. Yeah. So anyway, all right, we'll move past the whole guru thing. Uh, But one of the things that those gurus teach everyone that's so groundbreaking, it's astronomical (laughs) and it will raise your page rank in a matter of 30 days. Do you know what I'm talking about, Robert? (laughs) No, but I can't wait to hear, especially in this accent. I'm talking about adding keywords to your photos before Mm. you upload them to your site. Which you should, totally should do. People don't know that, though. And really? people never do it. Hmm. And honestly, it's one of the biggest ways to build your page rank. Yeah. So it's, you're just adding keywords, and, and Google is going to index everything. And this is one of those little secrets. Instead of keywording your pages, keyword your photos. Keyword, even put caption descriptions, your titles. Videos. videos are huge. No mm-hmm. one ever does that. It's one yeah. uh, reason that my videos have done decently well yeah so at least on facebook i've gotten so many more views on facebook than youtube it's it's stupid that's interesting there's just more people just they just have facebook open all day well i've had like eight million views on facebook and nine thousand of the same video on youtube that speaks volumes so it really does yeah i don't get it and i think that there's a very specific system to youtube but anyway yeah um marketing yourself going back to it you're using uh, your website Um, I think that if you were to get a picture and Photoshop your certificate and then add keywords to it, like for example, um, certified drone pilot, uh, Cincinnati, Ohio, Mm -hmm. Cincinnati, Ohio, drone pilot, drone pilot for hire, Ohio. And by the way, you could say as far as, as far as we can tell FAA certified, I mean, that's a different different issue than using their drone pilot their logo true and by the way just so y'all know where we're getting this primary information it's actually a really old document from the faa it's from 2006 but i don't think there's anything more current and it's order number 1700.6c and that's actually wow, where the origination of that um, that rule comes from so you might want to check that out or just take our word for it either way i am impressed don't be i'm very impressed. i'm learning from it's, but i didn't do it from memory like you do whatever it doesn't matter if you do it from memory or not. Okay. It's just whether you know. All right, cool. Because half the time, 
half the time it's the wrong number. It's funny though because we live in a world in a world where like most of the time the information is wrong, and we're like the type of people, especially pilots, where like we have to know so much information. It's like being a doctor, you know. You're like, well, I know for a fact that uh, if you you know eat a lot of cholesterol, you're gonna have coronary heart disease, and like that, you know, it's like a this black and white in your mind, right? That's mm-hmm. how like doctors and we think. But for us, it's like aviation stuff. And in the world, I could care less. I'm like, you know, oh, you want to talk about lithium batteries, SAFO uh, 15010 uh, from the FAA, you know, like that to me, he- here's the thing for me saying that it's impressive to them because I've remembered the number, mm-hmm. but are they going to go research it? No. Are they going to go look it up? Probably not. Probably not. So like most of the time it's just... Although I'm, I will I'm making say, a, hold on, I'm making a okay. point about sales. Finish your point. Most of the time, people will believe you purely based on your confidence and conviction. And I, this is I'm trying to make a sales point here. So when you're selling yourself, don't oversell yourself if you're a crappy drone pilot. But if you're a good drone pilot and you're having trouble with confidence and conviction, believe it or not, how you say what you're worth and how you ask for what you're worth will determine whether they will pay you that or not. Because if you say, um, Rob, uh, my day rates, uh, 1500 bucks, you know, you're not going <laughs> to believe just, me. You fade. You know what? I'm really excited to work for you. My day rate is $1,500. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. then the guy's like, okay, get out of my office. Like literally. <laughs> Wait but a if minute. It, I live on a little more conviction. Than that. Yeah. But if you're like, you know, Rob, uh, I would absolutely love to do aerials for you. I think that, you know, an aerial view, you know, not, not too high, something that shows the neighboring area and also your building and, and kind of what goes on. I think that's going to help provide value, a nice bird's eye perspective. And, you know, normally I would do that for 2,500 a day unedited, but I can do it for you 1,500 a day unedited. If you're looking to do something like a commercial where you can put online or, you know, know, broadcast radio, 3,500 bucks out the door and you're going to have something in two weeks. And I guarantee that the quality will be nicer than in any, any other production house in town. Boom. Sold. Would you buy right there, Rob? Well, I don't ever buy without sleeping on it. So I'm not a good example. You know, you're not. I'm like, I don't think anyone's ever done that to me. <laughs> and if they do, I just like uh, blow them off. Like, no, yeah, well, you, you, what you tell me is, all right, well, my my uh, schedule will probably be full by tomorrow. Which I do say that a lot. <laughs> and would. it's not, it's actually, that's, it's not even a lie either. No, it could be true. I, I talked to my dad but this I, morning. I'm willing to take that risk, but. Uh, I talked to my dad this morning. I said, hey, are we meeting up in Denver in November? Because I already booked every other weekend for November, and I'm working on December now. Yeah. And that was like when we decided most of that stuff on Monday. So it can yeah. literally change overnight. It happens fast. It yeah. definitely happens fast. So marketing yourself, don't use the FAA logo. Um, use a nice, beautiful photo of an aerial or you and the drone to provide credibility that you actually fly the drone. Um, and then you can say FAA certified pilot. Try to use photos with a lot of color. Don't oversaturate them and look like an amateur pilot. Don't oversaturate them. Whatever you think looks cool, take saturation down minus 10. And check out your site because you're pretty happy with where that's at right now. Well, I need to do a lot of revisions as far as grammar goes because I'm not a grammar. Well, don't read it. Just look at it. Yeah. Um, I will be actually adding an entire new page, two new pages to that. I'm starting my own blog, vlog, you know. Um, but also I'm starting a page. I just learned this and here's a little information for you guys. Some of you guys know I've got some pretty big name clients like Marriott. Um, and in, they just took on Starwood hotels. So now the, every Starwood hotel is like free game for media. And I was asked to put together something so that every Starwood hotel who had seen my marketing pieces, cause I represent uh, Mexico mm-hmm. for Marriott, anyone who had seen that can go to my quote unquote portfolio and look at different things I've done and see if that's, if I'm someone they want to work with. Nice. So I've got to create an online portfolio specific to luxury hotel industry. So you may want to consider on your website, if you're trying to focus on a certain niche, say like action sports videos, I fly for production companies. Uh, I'm trying to do, you know, cell phone tower inspections, whatever it is. And I'll be honest, you've heard the old saying, you fake it to make it, right? Sure. I would say that in this industry, I've seen a lot of people fake it to make it. But in order to really fake it and make it, you've got to learn every possible thing that you can to not get yourself in trouble or 
in a world of hurt because you can't fake it to make it and fly power line inspections because you're going to have a coronal injection, lose the drone and your ability to ever fly again. Okay. Well, and yeah, and potentially cause a lot of damage that somebody's going to have to pay for. That's why I said you would never fly again. Yeah. Um, insurance wise, <laughs> FAA wise, and your wallet wise. Right. Um, that being said, you know, if you're going to fake it and make it with cell phone tower inspections, you've got to learn more about RF interference, um, utilizing spectrum analyzers. We're going to talk about that a little bit more later. Um, but you can fake it to make it like say, oh, I do cell phone tower inspections. They're not difficult, you know. Um, they want certain deliverables, but you've got to be careful in faking it to make it with highly specific and technical things. Like you can't fake it to make it uh, and go shoot uh, roof inspections, you know, like that's very detailed. You've got to go through the infrared academy and get certified. Like, you know, you can't fake it to make it and do surveys with your drone. You know what I mean? I, I would say that there's very little that you can actually fake it to make it in this industry because ultimately you still have to go fly. True. And you still have to produce a product that True. people are going to be happy with. I'm just saying that you can fake it to make it if you've been flying all the time and you're practicing and you're constantly learning. You cannot fake it to make it if you're just expecting to get, get these jobs from photos you put up on your website and not doing your research and not going out and practicing and doing these things and not working under someone else as an apprentice and learning how to do it safely. That's my yeah. point. No, that makes sense. I yeah, if you can fly and you're just kind of dealing with some confidence, that's where I that's where I hear fake it to make it. Gotcha. Fake the confidence. Make sure that people see you as confident even though you might not feel it. That's where I see you got to fake it to make it in that scenario. Yeah, when it comes to how you sell yourself too, you've got to fake it to make it. Yep, absolutely. So, Anyway, guys, um, if you're ready to turn your passion into profit, go to thedroneu.com, become a member. The Part 107 class is now up. It's included in membership. You get the study guide, you get the quizzes, you get the classes, you get the courses, you get the community, and you get to meet a lot of other cool people who are just like you. That's thedroneu.com. we got two live classes coming up. If you like to learn more in person, you like to separate the time, which a lot of people do, we had one member say... Uh, you know, if it weren't for the actual class, he has questions on whether he would have actually passed mm -hmm. just off of the study guide because he's more of a visual learner. Yeah. So depending on what kind of learner you are, these in-person classes are a great opportunity for you to get your uh, your your prep. You're getting ready to take the certificate and turn your passion to profit. Check out DroneULive.com. We've got two classes coming up. One in Denver, Colorado, and one in Austin, Texas. We're going to the wave sweet. pool. Very sweet. We're going to the wave pool. Nice. I'm serious. I believe you. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is Ask Drone You.